Hello, May Flom here. I have a black zip up shirt, a horse show shirt, in fact. And I'm trying my hand here. These are rhinestones. I have Beacon Gem Tack glue. I like this the best so far for gluing rhinestones to clothing. So far, I'm trying different things. Anyhow, this video has a point. This is part of my creative time. Now, here's the thing. If this doesn't work out, it's going to be a fairly expensive mistake, but uh, these were things, you know, I, mostly things I had, the things that I didn't were the ones that are so on. I found somebody who was just getting rid, doing a jewelry purge, getting rid of a bunch of so on rhinestones. So didn't spend a ton of money, but using a lot of stuff in my stash and using a lot of tools that I have. Now, this is different than other videos. Usually when I'm sharing with you, I'm talking about in, in the abstract. I don't have pressure. So this is a shirt that I got on clearance um, that if my daughter gets to show a horse, will work for her. And it's her size. And if not, I can find somebody who will show a horse and give it, gift it to them. I can find a kid or a teenager or somebody and gift it to them. So what I'm doing is just putting in drops of glue. So this has kind of, I, the reason this is in here is when I'm not sure what I'm going to do, when I'm feeling stuck, I come in here, I put a few, you can see how tiny I can get. That's, I really like how easy this is to go on. It's just really easy. And then I come in here, I've got my little dish here with all my medium to large, well, relatively speaking, medium to large rhinestones. And then I come in here and say, okay, this spot, I want a black rhinestone. I get my tweezers in here. Oh, come on. Now none of them will cooperate, I bet, because I'm running a video, there we go. So I get one, where was that spot? Right here, and I release it, and I tap it into place, and I repeat. Now, a lot of these areas, the teeny, teeny, tiny ones will go in. I've decided I'm not working with the teeny, teeny, tiny ones just yet. I'm working with the medium ones, really the medium ones, because these big, big ones are already in. So I just go through here and when I find a spot that I like, I place it in. I don't worry about a tiny bit of glue because it does dry pretty clear. The reason this is in this series and not me, you know, is this a how-to video? Well, here's the thing. I've never done this before. I am totally winging it and testing out not just some of my own skills, but I'm testing out... Well, how, did, how do I go about doing this? What are the most effective ways? What are the best ways? What work method works best for me? What is the most satisfying? Because as you can imagine, a project like this is fairly time intensive. A project like this, I think I'm guesstimating this is gonna take me two months. And the reason I'm guesstimating this is gonna take me two months is because my plan is when I'm not sure what to do and when I want to play around with something creative, I'm going to turn to this. Oops, that's not the color I thought it was. This can go over here. That's kind of a gray color. So the plan is that this becomes my creative break of sorts because I am just placing rhinestones. I'm not designing. I'm not being super fancy. I'm just placing rhinestones. I'm take, picking up a rhinestone, putting in a spot that I see that I like. And then what I will do once this area is completely full, then I'll come back with the, a different one of these with the teeny, 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 tiny ones that you kind of see there. Then when I'm done with this area, I'll move on to the next section until one of these days, the whole collar will be done and then I'll move on to the sleeves and then the sleeves will be done. The whole thing will be done. Hooray, hooray. We have a shirt. Now, like I said before, I just, I took this on. I had a couple of friends who asked me who, if I could do some repairs or alter um, some of their horse show clothing, which is fascinating because it falls into costume in a way, it falls into craftiness, and I'm always looking to kind of expand what I do and uh, try out new things. So I figured by doing this on my own first and seeing how I like it by myself, you know, on, with on my own terms, so to speak, and not worried about messing up somebody else's stuff, then I can play with that and then I'll see if I can take on any, for just for fun, um, take on any projects for my friends. I think that would be really neat. Anyhow, that is today's video. That is how today 
I am just kind of being creative without putting any project stress on myself because we really are just, whoops, placing things and learning best tips and tricks. If you have any tips for rhinestone application on clothing, by the way, please feel free to share them. I've read some things, but I really am just kind of winging it at this point. So I'd love to hear from you. And basically what we just did there, sometimes I work for half an hour, sometimes an hour, sometimes 10 minutes, but this makes me feel good because I've made progress. And over time, what I have found projects with rhinestones, cross-stitching, um, diamond dots is another one that's really super satisfying where, yeah, you just come, you show up for a couple minutes, you do a couple things, and then you think nothing of it. And then after a couple of weeks have passed, or even one week, you take a look at your progress and you're just blown away by, oh my gosh, look at all the progress I've made. Look at what I've done. This is fantastic. And you get that sense of accomplishment. You get that sense of you're, you know, you're doing something, you're making something happen without it have, it wasn't some kind of major investment every day. So anyhow, I think this is, this is a lot of fun. And yeah, I think, I mean, if it was totally messed up, I don't think I could retrieve the small stones off of here, the large ones I could, but you know what? I don't think it's going to be totally messed up. I think that's going to be an awesome looking color. So super excited. This is super fun. This is an ongoing maze kind of creative play project. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.